the Admiral. He summoned us here. The Admiral's tour of duty has ended. And what of the Admiral himself? He has been subjected to disciplinary termination. I have assumed command. This battle group has consistently suffered the greatest casualties of any attack force in the fleet. For this reason, His Imperial Majesty has sent me to take direct control of our attack on the Arcturus system. To ensure our complete success, all ships throughout the galaxy have been equipped with Enforcer drones to remove any weak links in the command chain. Any deviation from the Master Invasion plan will result in immediate disciplinary review. This is outrageous! The tide of battle can change in seconds, making battle plans useless! I'll not send my boys out to Arcturus with an Enforcer drone breathing down my neck! <laughs> Me too, no problem! Morning. Morning. Hey, Russell, anybody need a sheriff while I was gone? Those folks don't even know we got one yet. Great, that's the way I like it. What are you up to? I'm set up out here by the new off-ramp. What for? I'm gonna catch Big Bean's first speeder. Uh-huh. Well, at least I know where to forward your Christmas present. Ho, ho, ho. Seems to be the problem. Nothing these two barrels can't solve. Now just hold on a second. Why don't you just give me the gun? Cause I'm a crazy, desperate old man. I'm just as liable to blow you out of your socks as to give you the time of day. Now what do you think of that? I think it'd be a damn shame to have to shoot it out with you. Yeah, I suppose it would. I was just going to scare him. Scared me. Yeah. What's going on with you and the Farmer's Trust? Well, this here is what is going on. You can look at, look at it, look, look there, uh, all right. and there. Just, just let me read it, okay? Sure, fine. You just go ahead. Here ain't nobody can do anything about that now. No way. That's true. Clambaker. That's Clambaker. Steve W. Clembecker, president of the Farmer's Trust. Farmer's Trust. My Aunt Susie's rear end. One of the forward-thinking businessmen in this community who helped to convince the town council that we needed a new sheriff. We never needed a sheriff before until you showed up, you crook. Hold it now, wait. Did you send this letter? Uh, yeah, I believe that's my signature right there. I'm afraid the party's over. Party's over, that's correct. You see, as per Mr. Wrenchmuller's loan agreement, the credit union has full legal right to assume control of the property in question tomorrow at noon. <laughs> Unless, of course, he can come up with the cash or a crop to sign over. Nobody's got a crop. There's nothing you can do with Mr. Wrenchmuller's property until next season anyway. Why not <laughs> give him a chance hard. to... Sheriff Hoxley, you're new here, so let me clue you in on something. You see, we have direct highway access now and the opportunity to turn this town into a thriving metropolis. So unless you got the money to pay off all the overdue loans around here, maybe you should just stick to the kind of cause we hired you to handle, like keeping vagrants off the street. <clears throat> if you would. 
We'll deal with this in the morning at the courthouse. Come on, Mr. Ranchmuller. Ain't you kind of big for a boy scout? I can take care of myself. Happy Halloween, Big Bean. school today. Okay. How was sheriffing? Okay. You really don't like it here, do you, Kathy? Everything was starting to get back to normal. Then I just decided to move, just like that. It's a good job. No, there's nothing to do. It's trick or treat. But you're sending me off, kids. I don't even know. It's just for tonight. Somebody's got to keep the streets safe. From what, cows? Do we have any crazy glue? Um, yeah, I think it's in that box. What's the matter now? Everyone's probably going to show up dressed like scarecrows and pigs and clowns and stuff. So? I'm just not sure Big Bean is ready for aliens. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, folks. Well, this being Halloween night, I thought it'd be fun to dust off an old favorite from the golden days of radio. Fifty years ago tonight, a man named Orson Welles gave a depressed nation a few hours of desperately needed fun. And... Things being the way they are these days, we could sure use a little of that. So, Big Bean, just for tonight, forget your woes and just have a good time. The Columbia Broadcasting System and its affiliated stations present Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater on the air in The War of the World. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the director of the Mercury Theater and star of these broadcasts, Orson Welles. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's, and yet as mortal as his own. We know now that as human beings busied themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied perhaps almost as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the transient creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. With infinite complacence, people went to and fro over the earth about their little affairs, serene in the assurance of their dominion over this small, spinning fragment of solar driftwood, which by chance or design man has inherited out of the dark mystery of time and space. Yet across an immense ethereal gulf, minds that are to our minds, as ours are to the beasts in the jungle, intellect, vast, cool, and unsympathetic, regarded this earth with envious eyes and slowly and surely drew their plans against us. Hey, I heard a distress signal. I know I did. Asteroid Patrol Ship X-59YPQ to Battle Group 7. Come in, please. It's like the fleet just disappeared. But maybe it's interference. Get us out of the rocks. We're almost clear. Okay, hit it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a grave announcement to make. Incredible as it may seem, both the observations of science and the evidence of our eyes 
lead to the inescapable assumption that those strange beings who landed in the Jersey farmlands tonight are the vanguard of an invading army from the planet Mars. <laughs> You know, I remember the first time they played that thing. You remember Pterodactylus. And I can remember you fell for that. Hook, line, and sinker. Oh, I did not. You did so. You put a big bucket on your head and took off with them army boys to fight Martians. Ain't you dead yet? <laughs> Can't I just stay with you and fight crime? I'll see you later at the spook luck dinner. Give us a kiss. That's my girl. Should have come as a wedge of cheese. I'm probably the only alien for a billion miles. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Dad, welcome to another thrilling True Life episode of Russell Pillsbury, Deputy Sheriff. I'm parked out here by Big Bean's new off-ramp, and will soon be giving away the city's first speeding ticket. Who will be the lucky winner? <laughs> We gotta get us some money. Or they're gonna kick us out of here. And then we'll have to go live with my sister Marge. And her poodle. <coughs> yeah. Why did I have? Go and get old. <laughs> it's 8.15 p.m., October 31st. Just been alerted to a speed violation in progress. Watch now as I teach this automotive scoff law lesson in motor vehicular responsibility. Nobody gets away with going 3,000 miles per hour and a 55 mile an hour. Just... Okay. Don't suppose we'll ever see a night quite like that again, will we? <laughs> Not like no, no. I'll get the bucket. Damn. Termites are munching on our barn. Well, we're going to have to do something before they ruin it. Come on, Jim. Who taught you to drive, you moron? Nice landing, Leslie. Are we there? Is this it? Kids, 3D and driving just don't mix. Welcome to Earth. Enjoy it while it lasts. Are you sure this is where the fleet is? You heard the Earthlings' pathetic radio broadcast. Look out for that heat ray. Help us, help us. We're all gonna die. <laughs> they got that right. <laughs> Blasney, this is the place. We're here. Now let's start enjoying ourselves a little. Let's maneuver in a little closer to the action. Strife the local citizenry a little before we land. Sorry, no can do. Why not? Well, let's see. 
We got a torqued out digiframmers, our mega spaz, redundancy pilers on the blink, and it looks like we bruised our boo boo. He's making the whole ass bit up. There's no such thing. Coward. <laughs> Come on, let's kick some earthling butt. Finally, a real mission. Maybe we better think this over, huh? Goodbye, civilian asteroid patrol, and our atomic space navy. But the fleet was supposed to be attacking our tourists. The plan to attack our tourists was obviously a clever decoy for the real operation. The total annihilation of all things human. Now, quit raining on all parade. But why? Why would Mars want to attack the puny, insignificant forces of Earth? Because we win! Prepare to die, Earth! Scum! Where is everybody? Out blowing up all the good stuff! Come on, men! I think we brought the wrong gun. It certainly is green here. Perhaps our camouflage is uh, somewhat inappropriate. Come on, Jim. Just for the record. I'm listening. I thought this was a bad idea. Just for the record, you'd better hope not. I knew it! Oh, well, Jim, it looks as if me and you is the Earth's only hope. That's kind of sad, ain't it? Well, I guess it's better to die horrible, agonizing deaths defending the Earth than to wither away with Marge and her poodle. <laughs> Well, that's the spirit. We got work to do. What do you make of it, Doctor? Well, it's long, flat, and has yellow lines on it. That can only mean one thing. A minefield. I was going to say a country road. That's what they want us to think. Let me tell you something. One false move and kaboom! You'll be going home in several more pieces than you arrived. Corporal Pez. What? See if we can get across. Why don't we go around? Move! I knew it. I'm going home in a bag. It's always the corporal that gets blown up first. Wait, Doctor Ziploc. Don't we have anything of the world domination kit to help us out here? Well, let's uh, see here. Uh, uh, this looks interesting. Don't touch that. Excuse me. Hit the dash! What? Get down, stupid! What in the name of Uncle Martin is that? Scout in a can. Smart, wow. efficient, easy to use, and it's expendable. <laughs> Mine field indeed. What a bunch of twinky stuffing. Lieutenant Giggywig, really, you give these simple earthlings far too much credit. Yeah, could you get the uh, windshield for me, please? It would be my pleasure. Who are you supposed to be? I am... El Zorro! <laughs> See Kathy sit. See Kathy sit alone. See Kathy grow cobwebs and fossilize in boredom. Our first target. Think I can hit it from here? Wait a minute. Come on, let's shoot something already. 
Wow, that's the best alien costume I've ever seen. Thanks. I like yours, too. My mom made it. She really went to a lot of trouble. What are you supposed to be, anyway? I'm a duck. Who died and left you in charge? Captain Picto. I'm Kathy. Brian Hampton. Nice to meet you. So, would a nice girl like you ever learn how to make something so mind-numbingly terrifying? I spent some time with my uncle this summer. Uh-huh. He works in the movies making zombies and monsters and stuff. Uh-huh. I learned all about it. Uh-huh. I wanted to stay and work for him. Uh-huh. But I had to come here with my dad. Uh-huh. Where's your mom? She died last May. Gee. I'm sorry. That's too bad. So, it's just you and your dad, huh? Yeah. And some goldfish. Well, if you ever need a little brother, just give me a call. All right, you two, it's time to go. Come on. <laughs> How cute. How lovely. Come on, Vern, hurry it up. I got a cold beer and a hot woman, and I'm trying to keep them that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, fill it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get the windows. Uh, Warm uh, enough, uh, sweet cheeks. <laughs> oh, darling, come back to me. When's my caddy going to be done? Oh, you can pick it up tomorrow. Good. And it better be clean. It's clean. And, and I, uh, I polished it up like you said to. Take the left flank, I'll take the right. You always get the right flank. We've never done this before, idiot. Hey, what's with all the happy sounds? They're giddy with fear. Hey, look there. Get back, lock and load. <laughs> Shorter than I thought they'd be. Right, let's take them out. What if they come in small, medium, and large? Wow, a dinosaur! How cute! You're all alive! <laughs> Prepare to die, Earth scum! <laughs> yeah. Maybe later. Huh? Have fun, boys! What? <laughs> hey, come Dad, back here! I'm talking to you! Hey, that's something you don't see every day. What now, almighty leader? Kill them! Kill them! I said, prepare to die, Earth scum! Oh, now you got her. Yep, she's definitely terrified. Oh, boy. Now, boy. Oh. Now just wait a 
a minute. You can't tell me. Hey, already. Shouldn't this pitiful human be quivering in terror at how menacing faces and sinister looking weaponry? You'd think so, wouldn't you? Jeez. Yeah. Well, just play along. Uh, what are we tonight? Martians. Oh, yes, of course you are. Well, get in. Perhaps if we ride in this transport, we can find their secret resistance headquarters. Come on, let's shoot our way out of this. It'll be fun. They don't know they're Martians. How could they not know we're Martians? We're little green men with antennas. They think they're wearing costumes. What a bunch of morons. Let's flame these bozos. They're too stupid to live. <sighs> well, we have a full tank of gas and lots of empty bags. What shall we do? Trick or treat! Smell my feet! Oh, oh, oh great! Trick or what? I'm sick and tired of that old jerk Klembecker pushing everyone around. That's it. I'm gonna finish the plans for this farmzoid of mine. And someday, I'll be able to irrigate every field in town and make all the farms healthy again. And I'll just pick up that farmer's trust of his, drop kick it into the next county. He thinks he's such a hot shot. Yes, Captain Bipto. However, my new allegiance to His Imperial Majesty might come to light if I neglect my regular patrons. We must keep up the appearance of a normally functioning fuel dispensing depot while we act as undercover agents of Mars. I will be right back. Welcome to the Gas King Fuel Dispensing Depot. How may I be of assistance? Captain Bipto to the invasion force. Captain Bipto to the invasion force. I can't contact the ship or the invasion force. I can only assume the worst. We must build an attack vehicle. Something that will strike terror into whomever sets eyes upon it. Something with huge wheels so we can crush the panicking populace. Something from which I can overlook the battlefield and direct our victorious invasion force. Something like this? Actually, I was thinking of something a bit larger. <laughs> Those guys are definitely not from around here. No kidding, look at this thing. Hey. I know what I'm getting for Christmas. Hey, give them here. Oh, line up. It's just a stupid toy. You're not a toy at all, are you? I sure hope you're making him move like that. Everybody got their bags? Good. Now remember, look both ways before crossing the street. Watch it, will ya? Oh, that's the trick. Ah, if only Captain Crypto had known. You're gonna blow this guy. I wonder what Clumbaker's gonna give us this year. Who was not dead rats? My mom had a cow last time. What? Trick or Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one for you. One for you. Plan to go around. Cigarettes? Cigarettes? Okay, forget it!
what have we here? Damn. Must be some kind of health food nut. We're gonna make a bazillion dollars out of this story. And two bazillion on the pictures. Damn. <laughs> Flash don't work, Jim. And where are we gonna get batteries at this time of night? Oh, we gotta hurry. There's no telling what them wily space creatures will be up to now. The smell of battery acid makes me thirsty. Ah, oh, with all their advanced technology. Yeah. Look at the pitiful conveyances the oh. puny Earth creatures construct. Oh. Yeah. Oh. This one employs a mere 250 horsepower. Well. Our attack vehicle will cause their eyes to shoot out of their heads in fear. We've got to hurry. Who knows what unspeakable terrors have befallen my troops? Wow! What a haul! This is great! Big turn around. Mm -hmm. This kid's gonna barf. Hey, are you gonna barf? I think he's gonna barf, Mom. Sit, sit down. Okay, but if he barfs, your hair is history. Look at him. Why know you boys? They're on to us. Hey, step out of it. We gotta get out of here. I would like an answer, young man. Have I got an answer for you? Perhaps I'll just have to remove those little heads of yours and find out for myself. Hey, how do you fire this thing? No, not that button. Not like that, idiot. Do you hear that? Them Martians is starting their attack. Ah, the carnage begins. I love it. Mm. Hurry, I want to get in on all the fun. <laughs> you jerk! <laughs> Don't mess with me, kid. You huh? wouldn't like me when I'm mad. <laughs> Where are you really from? Now tell me who you are. By tomorrow morning, they're going to be printing your pictures on milk cartons. They're my cousins. Excuse me? From California. Dude. That's Clutch. Right there. That's Spinner. Yo. And that's Paddlefoot. Hi. They're surfers. If they're your cousins, why didn't you say so in the first place? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. I'm new here, and I, I don't really know anyone. I didn't think they'd be in any trouble. Now, now, no real harm is done. Boys, you are more than welcome in my country, Squire, provided that you save those missile attacks for a more suitable occasion. Uh, yes, ma'am. I don't mean to pry, but would you mind telling me exactly what's going on here? These guys are from a lot further away than California. Before you continue, I think I should remind you that I'm just a little boy and quite susceptible to nightmares. All right, that's it. I gave you another chance. But since you can't behave, I guess we we'll just have to call it a night and take everyone home. Uh, what's all this, then? Ah. Oh, yes, you. Prepare to die, you scum. Okay. Oh, I think you've made your point. Now sit down and shut up so we can go home. Look, when a vastly superior alien culture comes all this way to take over your world, certain basic laws of planetary conquest apply. For example, when someone points a quad-vectored hyperthermic cosmoblaster at you, it's a fair bet you're about to become toast. Will you please sit down and be quiet? Or perhaps in your case, a whole loaf of toast. <laughs> Uh-oh. Get out! Nice going, Big Mouth. I said out! I didn't do anything. I don't care how much you want out of my car, but I just meant! Get out! We're getting, okay. we're getting. Pushed, and I can be pushed, but I will not be stuck Get out! Aw, oh, shut up, that you old like bat. You have no problem finding their own way out! I think I see my dad's truck over there. You can let me and my friend out what here. truck? Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. I think that would be best, Miss Oxley. Goodbye. Thanks for a lovely evening. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine out here, all alone, in the dark. Hey! I don't know what's going on here. 
But I've only got a half a bag of candy, so it better be good. Happy now? Oh, well, who was the one who saw this heat-seeking populist annihilator out the window, hmm? Hey, if you All had right. Attack, I'll give it to you straight. We're being invaded by Martians. I'm gonna follow you. You go get my dad. My sister gets half of whatever's in my bag! So you better be right. As I set down these notes on paper, I'm obsessed by the thought that I may be the last living man on Earth. My God. I've been hiding in this empty house near Grover's Mill. Those guys. Jeez, if I get this bucket fixed before they get back, they're walking home. Place gives me the willies. Nobody gets away from Russell Pillsbury, Deputy Sheriff. Ah, oh, jeez. Would you mind stepping out of the vehicle, sir? Now! <laughs> Maybe it's in backwards. Now watch it. You're getting dog spit all over it. <laughs> Hit a <him>, boy. <laughs> Will you stop wasting film? Gee, officer. What seems to be the problem? No license, no registration, no plates, no headlights, no taillights, no wheels, and I clocked you going 3,000 miles per hour. That's 2,945 miles an hour in excess of the posted limit. Great. There goes my insurance. $10 for every five miles an hour over the limit. <laughs> You're going to do time, pal. <laughs> Chair for this. Maybe you better step back and get the big picture here. Okay. I just made a serious mistake. Have I? Ain't life a bitch. <laughs> Meanwhile, elsewhere on the planet. This is Orson Welles, ladies and gentlemen. Out of character, to assure you that the War of the Worlds has no further significance than as the holiday offering it was intended to be. The Mercury uh, Theater's own radio version of dressing up in a sheet and jumping out of a uh, bush and saying boo. Oh. Starting now, we couldn't move all your windows and steal all your garden gates. You have failed. It's disciplinary review time. ...before your very ears and utterly destroyed the CBS. You will be relieved, I hope, to learn that we didn't mean it, and that both institutions are still open for business. So goodbye, everybody, and remember, please, for the next day or so, the terrible lesson you learned tonight. That grinning, glowing, globular invader of your living room is an inhabitant of the pumpkin patch, and if your doorbell rings and nobody's there, that was no Martian. It's Halloween. You want to bet? Wait, I told them we were supposed to be attacking our tourists. It's not my fault. Let's talk this out. I'll go get them, and we can blow up any planet you want. Just give us a chance. Too late. Your imperfection has exceeded acceptable error levels. You are terminated. No! <laughs> Now, for the others. Come on, Jim. You hear that? You 
must be right on the other side of that veil. This time, we're going to get ourselves the picture of the century. Now, are you ready? Get set. Go. <laughs> but I thought you was a Martian. What'd you do with him? He was right here when I left. He was here when I left, too. What do you suppose was in there? That's it. I'm going to kill something if it's the last thing I do. And this time, nothing is going to stand in my way. Oh, yeah, right. What now, terrifying one? Shouldn't we be trying to find a fleet? Oh, sure, we can do it the easy way. Or we can sack this entire area all by ourselves with a single brilliantly conceived, meticulously executed, and perfectly timed operation. You hear that? We're gonna blow something up. Yeah, but but what? Sheriff Hoxley's at the BFW Hall. He'll know what to do. We're gonna need us more than the sheriff. We're gonna need us an army. They'll never believe us. Oh, they're gonna believe us, all right. Oh, the Martians are coming! Uh, the Martians are coming! What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Big Bean is being yeah. invaded by Martians. Oh, what is this stuff? <laughs> From space! Oh, no. right. You yeah. think I'm crazy, do you? Well, I got one of them right back here in the truck. Come on, come on now. Take a look at this. Take a look at what? Yeah. He was here. Oh. I, I, I swear it. Well, look at there. He, that's his green blood. That's paint. Oh. Hey, he's getting away. He's going to join his space army. Space army? I death ray my grandmother for a space army about now. Tell him, Russell. It's true. I gave one of them a ticket. I'm telling you, it looks like a full-scale invasion. I'll tell you what it looks like. Looks like a hoax to me. <laughs> Mr. Wrench Mueller is telling the truth. Are you insane? Look, I, I don't pretend to know everything that's going on here. But it is clear to me from evidence that I've seen that we are being visited by intelligent creatures. Intelligent creatures. That'll throw them off the trail. I even got pictures. Look at here. That's what they look like. Ooh, why, they look just like the sheriff's nephews. My nephews? Your nephews are Martians? No, my nephews aren't Martians. I don't even have any nephews. Well, there are spaceships in my barn. He's a crazy man. Where'd they get a spaceship, then? In California. They're surfers. Surfers? Well, that's what your daughter said. Wait a minute, wait. Where is Kathy? She got out with your Martian surfer nephews. Mrs. Vanderspool, do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? Uh, I suppose they're they're little. Yeah, that's right. And and, and green. Oh yes. And, and little dealy bobs coming out their head. Now you're cooking with gas. It sounds like Martians to me. Look, I just want everybody to remain calm. Well, I think we should do something. Blas need world domination force. Not now, Blasney. I'm busy sealing the doom of countless millions. Now shove off. The device is in place. They'll never escape us now. <laughs> That's it. Let the enforcer drone have them. Whoops. They're off awfully. They're off awfully. Hold it, hey. Come back here.
never mess with a Frisbee champion. Mayday, Mayday, throw it in. Dr. Ziplock. Huh? Activate the hover bag. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it. You're going about this all wrong. There's nothing to indicate that we're in any kind of danger. We don't know what we're dealing with here. We don't even know where they are. We interrupt your launch to bring you a special announcement. The Martians have landed. Prepare to die, Earthgum. All right, where's your space ship? What's a space ship? And what are you? I'm a carnivorous duck. And I'm in a bad mood. Now start talking, or I start eating. Oh, oh, you mean my spaceship. I get your drift now. I can lead you right to it. Come on. Some alien minute you turned out to be. Captain Vipto. Mm. I'm picking up a signal from the Omniblab. Huh? On behalf of His Majesty's Atomic Space Navy, I hereby invite you to surrender peacefully so that we may execute you in an orderly fashion. And just in case you're thinking of fleeing in mass panic, forget it. We are now cutting off your only means of escape. Yeah. Anything to see the faces of those human scum now? The off ramp. They blew up our new off ramp! Watch now as we obliterate a few of your puny missile signers. Hey! They're over at the co op! Let's get them! He keeps trying to put tab A into slot B. I am not. It says right here. Insert a radigaphnic float ad into hyperpodnic cycle clutch. See? Uh, hi. You gonna turn me in? Don't you want to take over the world, too? thing isn't supposed to happen in small towns. I moved out here to get away from things like this. This happened a lot in Chicago? Now this is what planetary siege weapons are all about. <laughs> Wait a minute. Cease fire. Something's wrong. Wrong? Ah, ah! It's been booby trapped, and we're the boobies. <laughs> Another big one. <laughs> Big trouble now. We gotta get out of here fast. Hey, it's the map of 
from Big Bean. Mm -hmm. That's my house. This is where we are now. Now, show me where your ship landed. <laughs> That's Old Man Wrenchmuller's. I know where that is. Come on. There's one. Shoot it, you idiot. Never mind. Shoot that. Well, are we all having fun yet? Yahoo! What a disaster. Is this some kind of trick? Look, kid, you helped me out of a jam, so I'll level with you. I don't know anything about this invasion thing, but if you help me out here, I'll do my best to try and stop it. Deal? Deal. I'm telling you, this is it! We're here! Well, then where are all the craters and flaming buildings? According to my pocket navigator, this is where the battle took place, okay? We're lost. We missed the war, and it's all your fault. What do you mean it's my fault? Hey, if me do I didn't do anything, it was only your idea. You had one chance at the big time, and you ruined it. Ah, shut oh, up. This I don't want to hear it. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you scared me. So sorry. No, no, that's good. Now we're digging somewhere. Which hey. way to the massacre? The what? Oh, you mean the... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, boys, but uh, it's over. Huh? Over? I'm afraid so. The uh, shame you missed the ending, though. That's the best part. How so? Well, you see, just when it seemed that the Earth was doomed to be taken over, the Martians just up and died. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What happened to all their bodies? The birds got them mostly. Pecking what? and tearing at them. Swallowing little mouthfuls of their rubbery flesh. And the dogs. Oh, the dogs had their turn at them, too. Fighting over the scraps and gnawing on their little skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And just how did they die? Our germs got them. Germs? Yeah. Little microbes, like the ones that gave me this damn cold. <laughs> well, have a good time, boys. I don't mean to be nosy, but was there any particular reason you guys decided to invade Earth? Promise you won't laugh? Sure. Ever hear of the War of the Worlds? Guys, 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 get a load of this! <laughs> Where do we go? What do we do? Where do we hide? Back to the ship. Back to the asteroids. I love the asteroids. Nice, quiet, old asteroid patrol. That's the life for me. Are you kidding? We'll never make it back to the ship with all that enemy firepower out there. Luckily, I remember to bring my distress romantic. <laughs> I love this guy. Come here, Joe. Oh, no. No, not now. It's not ready. Who's not ready? The ship. One of those vacuum heads pulled it to stress -omatic. Oh, what? It's an emergency beacon autopilot. The ship's programmed to fly to it no matter what. Sundry, where did you put the blue? <laughs> That's a distress -o magic signal. My boys are in trouble. Sundry, there's not a moment to lose. What? No, it's this way. But reduce the flight potential of Martian spaceships. 
Now, Jim, you stay there. You know, I'll be right back. I've got to rig an override before the engine charges up. What do you want me to do? Run for your life! Run for your life, boy! Abandon ship, shorty! Oh, abandon it? I just fixed it. That's too bad, because I'm about to unfix it. Ah! Uh, hey, what's going on? Open it up. What are you doing? I'm going to cancel your ticket home. There's folks out there that give a lot of money to get their hands on you guys, and I'm the one that's gonna get it. <laughs> so I guess you better evacuate the premises. Just to let me shut the engines off with this little red switch right here. Get out of here, kid! Martian? I'm a duck. Yeah, if you're a duck, where are your webbed feet? Snap out of it, Russell. The Martians, they went that away. Whoa, I said, whoa! When I say whoa, I mean whoa! We gotta get off this crazy rock. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Don't take it so hard. Will you knock it off? I'm busy. Stupid distress-o-matic, we tweaked our vapor plates, our mega spaz redundancy pile has been fried, not to mention I had to kill the autopilot. I don't care, then fix it! Fix all of it! All of you, fix it! Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it! Who's that? Reroute the erratic effect flow dots through the turbo fluctuator! Are you crazy? You know how bad that's gonna smell? Somebody hand me a plasma cup. Large hairy biceps, the tiny brains, and big guns. Who cares? Come on already. Stand by for takeoff. That must be our boys wreaking havoc over there. Oh, thank you. I shall wait in the transport. Good, Ben Droid. You do that. He's such a good boy. Come on, come on. What's taking so long? 
Let's see now. Enter the eight to the six power. Navi cross link the improbable to the front of the match. My men! I must say, I am impressed. A brilliant victory brought about by your indomitable will to win. What the hell is that thing? Who cares? Just shoot it! We did win, didn't we? No, but if we think fast enough, we just might live to lie about it. What's the problem? Just vaporize! Everyone, everything? Boom! Mission accomplished! Medals, awards, a parade! Next? No, wrong, false, none of the above! Why? Because we're not supposed to be here! What? We goofed! We erred! We misinterpreted the data at hand! I told you so! Let me explain the whole situation in a nutshell! There are five of us, and four billion of them! They have strategic air commands, nuclear-powered submarines, and John Wayne! We have this. Is it loaded? Let's find out. Wait a minute. We got bigger problems to worry about. What could be worse than this? That. Let him out! Oh, no. Martians, I'm afraid we have no choice. We will have to use the D-O-D. Quick, <gasps> break out the kit. What's the D-O-D? Here. What does it do? Zip lock and assist go together. You can't do that. If you let your friends blow up the earth, I'll never speak to you again. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Now put your guns down! What the hell is that? Surrender or die! Why should we? We got you surrounded! Yeah. Take it easy, Clem Becker. Because if you don't surrender or attempt to kill us, this device will detonate, and you, your town, and everything within a million mile radius will just simply go kaboom! Wow! Well, then you'll be killed, too! Wrong! For well, this, you see, is the donut of destruction! And we'll obliterate all of you while leaving us completely unscathed! Oh, yeah? What about your ship? Won't it be obliterated, too? Oh. We're doomed! Let's let him have it! Give me that! Prepare to die, Earth scum! <laughs> you did it again, didn't you? You put Tabe into Slot V! I must have told you a hundred times! No, I didn't! Yeah. Come on, you want to argue or live? Yeah, get him! Are you all right? I can't move. My whole body's asleep. I'll get help. Hey, somebody help! Hurry! Kathy? Kathy! I've been looking all over for you. What the hell is that? It was all I needed to save my farm, and almost had him. 
I could have been rich and never had to worry ever again. It's gonna be all right. Just take it easy. I'll take you back to my place. They landed on my farm, you know, and that's got to count for something, don't it? Sure it does. Sir Android, the Captain Bipto. Captain Bipto, come in, please. Hey. There's something wrong with my brother. Earned your brother? Captain Bipto, come in, please. Well, he used to be. Earn? Are you all right? Must be shot. I'll take it back to my place. Uh, I'll take care of your truck. Keep an eye on that thing until I get back and figure out what to do with it. Listen, everybody. Russell is the sheriff now. Listen to what he says. Are you all right? Yes. I suppose you have a pretty good explanation as to what you were doing riding around in an alien spacecraft. Now then, anybody have any automatic weapons? Grenades? Bazookas? Anything that might be helpful against this nice alien Nice knowing you. What have we here? Martians got popcorn? gonna go to bed but what are you gonna do i don't know i'll call the air force i guess but you can't do that the air force hates martians they'll shoot them and drop nuclear bombs on them and stuff i don't know about nuclear bombs but they certainly deserve whatever they get now come on but dad they're not really bad they're just stupid and they haven't really hurt anybody and if we help them get away no one will ever know the difference Look, honey, I'm supposed to be the sheriff in this town. If I don't get some help to control this thing and it gets any more out of hand, it's gonna be my fault. Then I might as well just throw away this badge. It's all you care about, your stupid badge. If you want to be such a big, important sheriff, why don't you do things yourself? At least they have a chance with you. What are we going to do now? Looks like we're gonna have to apply for citizenship. If only we could have connected up with the invasion force. It could have been glorious. If we ever get out of here, remind me. I've got a real funny story to tell you. We're doomed to spend the rest of our lives breeding 74% nitrogen. Oh, give me a home where the asteroids roam and, and the, the bleeps and the fuzzy mugs play. Where gravity is low and the water is snow and the desert winds blow you away. Mars, Mars is my home. Everyone's short just like me. I wish I was where there is not so much air and two moons could smile down upon me. Hey, what are you doing here? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Hey, 
Hey, short stuff, welcome back. We're trying to figure out how to get out of here. Got any bright ideas? Well, bless your little battery. Uh, a number for the Strategic Air Command, please. One extension, please. Uh, do you have a listing for reporting unusual uh, phenomena? A UFO. Yeah, that'll do. I'm sorry, sir, there's no such listing. I do, however, have an almost unlimited number of listings for psychiatrists. Wait a minute, lady, I don't need to hear this. Captain Bipto please. Captain Bipto to Burnside. <clears throat> yes, Captain Bipto. Remember that little surprise we were working on? Well, the time has come to unleash its terror. <laughs> Would you like the conveyance equipped with nuclear warheads or particle beam weapons? Oh, me? Hey, whatever. Be creative. We'll meet you there. Well, let's do it. Ah, what's wrong? The hyperfusion feedback governor back on the ship just had a meltdown. If we don't get back to zero gravity within the next, oh, hour, the ship's hyperdrive will implode, create an ever-expanding hole in the space-time continuum. Making you, me, and the rest of this galaxy some other universe's problem. Right? Close enough. Yes. I don't see why I have to pedal this thing. Hey, pal, nobody rides for free. What's he doing in there? It's my dad. Did he spot us? I don't think so. Get out of the way. Shotgun coming through. <laughs> we need more ammo. <laughs> Shot a bunny rabbit, though. Shut up! It was charging. Look, let's just stay cool here, okay? I don't want anybody to get hurt. We're trapped. What are we gonna do? Die horrible, searing deaths in less than an hour. Uh, can we help? No, no, I'm fine here. Just a little more ocular welding, and we'll be all set. Now, what the heck is that? It's a diversion. We're gonna get the ship back. You better not try to stop us. Even if you get through me, you're still gonna have to deal with him. Relax, kid. I just come to help. I already got a whole bunch of pictures, and if I help them get away, I'll have the only ones. <laughs> Gentlemen, I present the Farmzoid. I told you to go to bed. That's it. 
Take me to your secret government labs and cut me into wafer thin sections. Dad, all they want to do is go home. They know they've made a mistake and they're sorry, aren't you? And getting sorrier by the minute. Oh, yeah. And the ship's going to blow up and destroy the Earth in 15 minutes. Really, Dad? Hey, it's your planet. Okay, just for the sake of argument, how are you planning to get out of here anyway? There's a few things I haven't tried yet. They're risky, but better than death. Probably. <laughs> We worked really hard on creating this big diversion. A diversion? Wh what kind of a diversion? Hey, what the hell is that? I gotta admit, that's a diversion. I don't care what the hell that thing is. Adios. Hey, Clan Bender! Laugh now, butthead! All dry? Mayday, mayday! Look, you guys caused a lot of damage here. You're gonna have to make restitution somehow. If, if you promise me that, then then Wait I'll help minute. you. How's this? Promise me that you can hit that blinking red light in the next 10 seconds, or else we're gonna need help from a higher source. Hang on! Ah! Which red button? That one. Not that one. Captain Bimto, what's wrong? Captain, we got problems. We're gonna need a miracle just to get this baby off the ground, much less outer space. Say, can you tip that contraption up on its butt? If the vertical orientation struts are still functioning... Well, I think I got you covered. But we have to get back to the farm. Tell them to meet us there. Right. Meet at the Rensmuller farm. Bimto, out! Hey! Where do you guys grow your red smullers? There must be something here we can use. Uh, you can't just take a car. <laughs> it's all right, kid. I know this guy. Burn, you come down from there right now, you hear? Yeah, shoot, my hapless friend. Shoot! Burn everything you've got! The farmzoid is impervious! <laughs> All right, that's it! Mom's gonna hear about this! Make a left! Left? Right! right. Uh, I mean, yes! Come back, you cowards! Come back here! It's just a, a big toy robot! If I win... The whole tank wins, not just one guy. <laughs> just in case anybody's interested, we have 12 minutes until the end of the world. Come on, take this puppy in the hyperdrive. Maybe I better take a shortcut. Listen! I'd like to live to see the end of the world! Okay! There's the farm! Oh, I'm telling you! That ship has got the flight potential of a cement truck. I can fix that. What's that? 
Well, that's a farmer's all-purpose helper. It's guaranteed to remove stumps and gophers and drastically improve the flight potential of a Martian spaceship. Get out of here! Now help yourself. Hey, wait up. This I gotta see. This is your captain speaking. I'd like to thank you for flying Air Blasty. I hope we live long enough to do this again sometime. Come on! We'll see you here! You're not gonna believe this! Guys, wait a minute. That's the guy who wants to blow us up. Right one to Mars, now boarding. <laughs> what are you going to do with this? Give me oh, some come on, packers. Sheriff. Ain't you ever put a cherry bomb under a garbage can before? <laughs> what? Don't you guys ever listen to me? Has anybody seen my astro Hey, who took the Taurus calibrator? Wait, you got to listen to me. Leslie, we'll fix that later. Prepare to launch. This isn't going to work. Don't worry about that. Our Earth friends are going to give us a little extra boost. The only thing that guy wants to boost is his bank account. He's trying to blow up the ship. Assume standard vertical launch position. Vandroid, this is Captain Bipto. Are you receiving me? Vandroid, come in, please. Yes, Captain Bipto. How may I be of assistance? Your assignment is complete, Vandroid. Your bravery and devotion have saved us all. I am so proud of you, son. And so, you are no longer my robot slave. Live and be free! Thank you, Captain Bipto. It has been a pleasure serving you. And now... I must bid you adieu. There is much work to be done. For you see, I have plans for this world. Big plans. Android! Away! <clears throat> mm. Listen, NASA spends years calculating fuel loads and launch pressures and orbital window dynamics, and you're just gonna stuff dynamite under this thing and light the fuse? Well, actually, I, I was going to use this. You kids, get behind that tractor. supposed to save us from the end of the world? Now, before we go, does anyone need to go to the bathroom? Is this really gonna work? Because if it's not, we ought to figure out a way to defuse that nuclear cosmos, th whatever it is. You know how to do that? Well, no. Well, then move out. Well, this is gonna solve everyone's problem. One way or another. Hey, I'm not going home in a bag. I made it. I made it. I'm never going to do this again. Same here. get back they just want to go home impossible they have failed in their mission but if you kill them now the gravity hyperfusion fetal cuisinart will blow up in five minutes or so and then the earth will implode and that will throw mars out of orbit and it'll go crashing into the sun that would be a blemish on the old perfection record now wouldn't it pal not to mention expensive what if they took it out of your paycheck whoa what's a planet cost these days <laughs> four minutes 30 seconds very well return to your spacecraft <laughs> Now blast me, when we lift off, you'll have exactly 6.38621 seconds to fire the main engine in order to reach escape velocity. Never tell me the decimal points. Look, I can grow up to be 5'7", 5'8", easy. You're probably full grown. I'm animal. You're polypropylene. And besides, they really need you. 
that we can write. Or something. Jeez, you're breaking my heart. Here. Come on, short stuff, before they start checking for green cards. Hey, you. The next time you guys visit, pay closer attention to our traffic laws. Next time we visit, yeah. Well, thanks for not killing them, Mr. Enforcer Drone. Sorry to interrupt. Three minutes. You misunderstood. Once we reach the cold, airless depths of outer space, I shall incinerate them and toss their charred, sizzling skeletons into the cosmos. Ah! Say what? A quick vacuuming, a little air freshener, and I will have completed my duties with perfection. What? You can't do that. Hey, better them than us. I beg your pardon? I thought you were nice. But I was wrong. You're just a selfish old man. Well, they caused a lot more trouble than they was worth. And if it hadn't have been for you, things might have gotten even further out of hand. Well, somebody might have even have gotten killed. You know, I, I'd say that makes you a hero in both our planets. And uh, as the ambassador of the uh, planet Earth, <laughs> I would like to present you with an award as a token of our appreciation. The Tri-Nitro Toluene Award. Uh, now, you kids, why don't you run and get the champagne so we can do this thing up proper? I accept, in the name of goodwill, with hope for the peaceful coexistence of our two worlds. It certainly isn't much to look at, is it? Let me light it up for you so you can get the full effect. My, how pretty. Uh, how would you like to have a photo so you could remember this? Yes, please. <laughs> well, here, j just let me back up a bit so I can get the whole ship into it. Are you sure there's enough light? Oh, there's going to be plenty of light. <laughs> I'm so proud. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, you can just uh, say your prayers. What the? Why aren't we moving? Oh, great. We're stuck here. Well, I guess he left. <laughs> what happened? It's okay. Mr. Wrenchmuller blew up the Enforcer drone. Hooray for our side. It's time to go. Take care of yourselves. All of you. All right, break it up. There's billions of lives at stake. Now move! Don't need to tell me twice. Out if I eject. Lighten the load! 
Hurry it up, pet! Guide lightning! I'm lightning! They're still too happy! Something else must go! We already dumped everything we can dump! Exact! Hit it, Gigi! You know, uh, the last time I put a cherry bomb under a garbage can, the garbage can didn't make it. I guess somebody up there likes you. They, they just got lucky. If you see my dog, tell him we're moving tomorrow. Good morning, Mr. Wrenchmuller. The judge send you to come and throw me off my lane? No. But I'm afraid this is legal. It's wrong, but it's legal. I was just bringing somebody over I thought you'd want to see. Him? What do I want to see him for? No, not him. Him. <laughs> oh, Jim. Jim. <laughs> Jim, boy. Well, that's all very touching. As you can see, I got things to do. So unless you got the cash or a crop to sign over, I suggest you hand over oh. some keys. Hold it down, Jim. Oh. Jim, he ain't worth your breath. Oh. Now, you want oh. these keys, do you? <laughs> Go get him. I'm terribly sorry that it has to be this way. You want to hear something funny? Sure. <laughs> well, you're going to hear it right about uh, now. You know, we're only a few hours behind schedule, so I was just thinking, if we hurry, we might make it to our tourist in time to help torture prisoners. Ah, uh, shut up! up.